Hi everyone, I'm Cody at W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems and today we're going to be showing you how to change your SkyBridge from public to private or vice versa. So why would you want to do this? Uh, there's a couple reasons. Generally you want it set on private so other people are not using your SkyBridge. Uh, but if you're in a household and maybe a few of you have your call signs, then you can actually use that same SkyBridge, just not at the same time. Uh, is if it's on public, as long as your radio has a DMR ID in it, it'll work with the SkyBridge. Now, if it's on private, uh, it'll have to have your radio ID in it. So let's show you how it works. Go ahead and type in the IP address that's displayed on your SkyBridge. Uh, looks like ours is actually on the worldwide network right now. So we're gonna wait until we have a free moment. There we go. So the IP address, if you are online, the IP address is displayed down here. Uh, so go ahead and type that IP in. Just go onto your computer, make sure you're connected to the same network. And we will type in that IP address. Once you get to the panel here, uh, go ahead and click on configuration. If you're prompted with a password, the username is uh, pi-star and the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Scroll down here, and right in this menu, in the general configuration, there's the node type. That's what you're looking for. You can change that from private to public or the other way around. So if I change this to public and go ahead and apply changes just like that, uh, now once that's finished, my SkyBridge can be used by more than one kind of radio. It could be my radio, it could be my buddy's radio, or even some family members' radios. Hope this helps.